Hello and welcome. So in this video, I will cover all the things that are necessary for the Google Summer of Code. So I will discuss the basically five points in this video. That is what is Google Summer of Code? How can we apply for it? Advantages of this program? When does it happen? And the eligibility for this program? So without wasting any time, let's start this video. Okay, so it is a basically a program provided by the Google for bringing the students and the developers to come together and work on a particular project. There are a number of projects are there that is associated with the different different organizations and all the organizations are the open source organizations. So this is basically a global program where the st students not only not only from India, where all over the world involved in this program and maybe in your team there are more than people who is not belong in your country. Okay, so this is basically a global program for bringing the students and the developers to come together and work on an open source software development. And students work on an open source organization on a project for the period of three months and these three months will be held in the summer. Okay, so maybe around the March till the July and so on. So, and this program is the stipend based program. Means with the learning, you are going to do earning. Okay. So, these are the steps in a program that is apply, code, and share. So, start from the application process. After that, you are going to code with the group of your friends. So, we can say you group of your colleagues. And at last, you are going to share your work with the open source organizations. Okay. So, what next? That is the application process. So if we talk about the application process, the application process is just like a normal application process that we fill for the number of registrations. Okay. So along with the application process, you are going to select two things that is one open source organizations and a one project in which that you want to work. Okay. So you can select the multiple organizations and the multiple projects, but this is not very good thing for you because if you do so, you are not give the proper time to the particular project and the things will not good okay so this is this is all about the application process and after the application process you are you have to submit a proposal to the company about your project and how you are going to that project so this is all about the application process and the next step that is the advantages so there are basically two advantages we you are going to get the experience with the real environment of the working in a software development field and if we if you if you complete this program successfully so there is a weighted in your resume the google name is sufficient to impress anyone okay so it will provide the weighted to your resume or we can say cv so these are the advantages and in the next uh, when it go it does happen that is application starts around the march of every year but for the selected organization that is selected by the Google, basically these organizations are the open source. It starts something sometime about uh, first week of the February or sometime it is the last week of the January of every year. So if we talk about the eligibility for this program, so you, sh you must get it than 18 or you must be 18 years old. And the next eligibility is you should enroll in a reputed university for your academics basically for the engineering okay like a btec c btec cs or it and mca bca tc so these are the eligibility for this program so i hope you have an idea what is the google summer of code exactly is and what are the application process or the application process for the 2021 will start from the next from the february and the march of the 2021 okay so I hope you like this video. If you like this video, the thumbs up and share with your friends. And if you are new to my channel, just subscribe my channel. So thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye.